beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading for mid-November right through to mid-December 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details. I will never ask for personal details and I'll also never give you a cell phone number to call. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Okay, let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly. So please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, this is your twin flame reading for those who are currently in a twin flame connection but are separated at this time. I'm going to uh, get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. The first pile will be your pile, second pile will be your person's pile, and the third pile will be uh, your person's unified energy, and the fourth pile will be your unified energy and how it all comes together, okay? Um, now also we are going through Scorpio season, so this is a very transformative time when it comes to twin flame connections just so you're aware. Um, so expect sudden changes, turnarounds, and U-turns in your uh, relationship, as of course we also have um, Uranus making an entrance this month to shake things up a little bit. Now you've got the card of Clover, so you're currently making your own luck, but you're also recognizing that the universe will intervene to bring you and your person together. I feel like you have almost reconciled within yourself that if it is meant to be, it will be. You're actually forcing your person to um, spiritually evolve there with the, they've got the anchor. Thank you so much. This person that you're dealing with is resolving issues within themselves and they are maturing. And we've got the Hierophant for you. So you've also learnt what you want and what you do not want in a relationship. Now please look up what it means to be in a twin flame connection because it is a very difficult relationship to really sort of reconcile and fathom. I do apologize, that's that motorcyclist that goes up and down for no reason. Um, so I um, just want you to be aware that there is such thing as a false flame. Anyone who is, uh, you know, abusive mentally, physically, emotionally, that is not a twin flame, okay? Anyone who manipulates you on purpose, not a twin flame. Um, now, twin flames, they're meant to separate for a certain length of time in order for both parties to really look within themselves, see the things that need healing, and sort of process them, okay? So when you meet your twin, you normally have had a very difficult journey up until that point. You may have had relationships that did not work out. They may have thrown up some trust issues, insecurity, um, codependency, uh, feelings of self-loathing, feeling like you're not enough, low self-worth, uh, even things like um, substance abuse or you know uh, toxicity, toxic patterns, all those things are shown in a mirror from your twin and you have to look at that mirror and say okay I'm willing to finally stop running from all the things that I've been avoiding and do the spiritual work really look at the shadow side the shadow self we've all got one and we all have to really face it before we spiritually ascend now the chaser is willing to do the work they're willing to acknowledge their feelings for their twin and they're willing to open themselves up. But the person who is the runner, they see the mirror. They see all the things within themselves that they should be looking at to really resolve, heal, but they avoid it. They're like, I can't do that. I can't open that box right now. So it's about avoiding oneself to avoid the, the shadow work. So it's not a rejection of the twin. It's a rejection of the self. So it is a very difficult journey to take. It's not a romantic sort of Hollywood kind of 
love story. I mean, when you get over the other side and you spiritually ascend and you come together, it is one of the most rewarding relationships you can ever experience. But the beginning bit, the separation period is very difficult to fathom and understand. So I'm here to understand what's going on between your person and how it gets resolved. But right now you are in, I mean, you've got the good luck card number two. So this really indicates that you are connecting to source. You are doing the spiritual work. You're actually turning over a new leaf. But deep down, you feel like you can't do this anymore. You've surrendered to the union. You've also surrendered to the universe because this is like leaving it up to chance, leaving it up to fate because you feel like you cannot do any more with this. So you're really taking step a step back. This is a very potent card. It's a powerful manifestation card. It indicates something that you've been trying to align yourself is coming. Something you've been trying to align yourself with is coming, but it is a clear indication that you must trust the universe and that there will be like almost an alch like alchemy. Suddenly things turn around, but right now you're in the energy of like, you know what? I'm done. You're cutting loose. Uh, I feel like you're starting to let your hair down, uh, open yourself up to a new adventure. The full card indicates you were willing to sort of take a leap of faith in this connection. You're willing to take a chance on it. These two cards are like to take a chance, to take a risk on love, and you're willing to do it. But right now, I feel like you can't do this anymore. So I feel you're actually focusing on yourself. You're I feel like you're almost rediscovering yourself because Scorpio season is about reinventing. It's about reimagining our energy. So I feel like you're finding the playfulness within your life, really not looking at things too seriously, or you're trying not to. You're trying to get back to that wonderful, sprightly, energetic soul that you feel you may have lost recently. Some of you may be embarking on a new adventure, but the full card is a card of um, being independent, it's also a card of potential. You realize you have a lot of potential to meet somebody, to be loved by somebody. You wanted it to be your twin. You may feel like this person is very immature or they're younger than you and you feel like they can offer you at this time what you're looking for because we got the Hierophant here. So you're looking for a high level commitment. You're looking for marriage. You're looking to settle down. You want something that is faithful, someone you can trust, but you are being the catalyst for change. You're making a step in another direction and it really does sort of give this ripple effect throughout your relationship you may be like you know i see this what i see right now is lots of pictures of you whether you're on social media or not i just see lots of pictures of you um you know in these wonderful poses of being happy and you're not posing you're just happy there's snapshots of you enjoying yourself with friends getting out there having fun really being the catalyst for change in the relationship because when you start off on your new path you open yourself up to all possibilities, but most importantly, you force and encourage your twin to energetically shift their energy and go into a cycle of healing and maturity. So I feel like by you saying, you know what, I can't do this anymore. I'm withdrawing from you and I'm actually going to start a new adventure elsewhere. I, I need a new beginning because I feel like you've come to the end of this story in your mind because you're like, I can't do anymore. I've done everything I could. I opened up, I felt love, I give my devotion, my care, I try to save this, but the full card indicates you're done, okay? You're, you're like, you wanted to take the journey, but this person has been careless with your heart or has even you know made you feel very disappointed and let down, but you're picking yourself back up and you're moving on. Uh, it has actually forced your person to really look at grounding their emotions. They've got the anchor, okay? And when you reduce it, three plus five is eight, of course, which is the number of the self. So emotionally, this person is starting to think about where they want to settle down, where they want to, you know, well, I'm getting this the word disembark, almost like this person is on a ship. So either you're going to hear about this person has been traveling or this person has been on a journey because they've also got the world card. So maybe this person's at a distance from you physically and they have to travel to get to you because they gave me the word disembark. So it could be disembark from a train, a ship, um, an airplane. You know, I'm, I'm, I mean, the world card is a travel card and we've also got the anchor. So this person could be traveling to you. Now it's covered by the world card, which indicates this person is coming into balance and they're entering a new cycle. I feel like this person is feeling a little bit more complete. Uh, they're accomplishing goals, but also they're in harmony. They, they realize that they're in the right place in their life now to open up to love, which does not have, it doesn't really help you, my beautiful Aquarians, because you're like, 
You're not living on their time. You're not just waiting for them to be ready for love and you're just going to be sitting there waiting for that person. I don't feel that at all. With the world card, I feel like there's an ascension here. This person is sort of tying up loose ends to the past. Uh, anything that was like in play, like, um, you know, unfinished business or unfinished lessons. This is a card of unfinished lessons. Um, the world card indicates this person is learning the lessons. They are maturing. They are sort of leveling up to the next stage, ready to be a divine counterpart. As you can see, their energy, because we flip it, first pile is yours, second pile is theirs. Next pile, number three, is theirs, because we flip the energy. Uh, you are stepping away from this person, so you, in effect, are becoming the runner. At least you're keeping a distance, that's what I see, because you've got the stork there as well, which means there's no movement in this relationship for a long time. Nothing's happening. You feel everything is stagnant. Then suddenly, there's movement. Um, we've got the two birds here owls which represent knowledge this person is learning they are learning to spiritually mature they're connecting to source and i feel with um i mean they're in number 12 energy which is the hangman energy so i feel like they have been waiting but i feel they've done a lot of talking to people that they trust because i feel lots of conversations lots of whisperings lots of confiding in people i feel this person has been talking about you and also been talking about how they want to settle down how they it's time that they you know matured and thought about really sort of finding where they fit in so i feel like this person is ready for nesting and i feel um they, they there's this energy of and I'm going to pull a card on it just to see what the blockage was in this union. But this person, the Emperor energy, they are very emotionally guarded. I would say sometimes emotionally unavailable. Uh, even they cannot access some of the emotions that they feel. They just push them away. So as you can see, this person has had a shield for a while. It's also really interesting that uh, this is two different decks and we've got owls there. So either this person is older than you or um, you may feel that this person... As they mature, they should know better. I feel like wisdom is coming to them because owls, in silence, owls represent wisdom arriving. So I feel like this person is, you know, during the separation period, this person is learning to trust their spiritual gifts, to really see things in 360, take ownership of their actions. And the emperor, as you can see, they've dropped the shield. This person is ready to let someone in. This person is ready to settle down. They've been thinking about the future. And I feel this person, uh, they built a, a life for themselves where they may have been focused on their career, um, on business, finances, things like that. But I feel this person, it doesn't give them that warm, fuzzy feeling that comes from being with a divine counterpart. So I'm just going to pull a card and see what was the blockage in this union? Why is there separation? Because each twin is meant to learn something in the separation. It is a catalyst for spiritual growth. Now, spiritual growth, healing, shall we call it, it sounds like a wonderful thing, but it is often a very painful experience. We all know that. To, to become spiritually aware, to mature, to heal. Healing sounds like this, like breath of fresh air. And it can be, and it will be. But at first, you've got to work through the messy stuff. So sometimes it is very painful at the beginning of a healing process. And once you reach that pivotal point, that breakthrough moment, then it's like a breath, a release. Okay. Uh, Knight of Swords, a lot of lifestyle changes necessary. Um, communication issues between you and this person. I feel like this person did not open up. They did not say how they truly felt. Also, I felt this person did not have the courage to sort of voice how they felt they were always very guarded also something in this person's eyes that betrayed them so they may not have spoken how they felt but they're indicating this person's eyes told you how they felt you could feel it in their company but you and this person either you met each other at a very chaotic time in your life they're indicating that you and this person needed to make a lot of spiritual changes or a lot of life changes before you were truly ready for each other the emperor, a lot of maturing, a lot of responsibility. Um, I feel like your person, can you please clarify this emperor? The well. Now, what I'm seeing here, now male or female, not a gender specific reading, but what I am seeing here is your divine counterpart wished that they would never be like their father, 
or their father figure or their masculine guardian. This person, they will talk to you about this, but this person wishes that they were not as closed off to emotion and as strict and tight laced as their father figure. Okay, now I'm not pointing any fingers at anyone's past. None of us come to this lifetime with a manual of how to do life. We get an experience in life and it informs our journey and we either let it control us or we learn from it. And I feel this person has emulated a pattern that he, this person has been running away from. Okay, uh, this person, it's almost like they've always been on the run. They've always been on the move. They may have even moved around a lot when they were younger. They never felt they fitted in. They ne never had a place in the world. Okay, we got the uh, Knight of Swords there. Uh, always on the move. Uh, we've got the Emperor. Very sort of like closed off to emotion. A divine counterpart. Definitely your twin flame. But we've got the Well here. This person has a, a really deep set of emotions. And... They are the dreamer. They wished or they dreamed that they would never be who they've become. And now they're really sitting in ownership that they pushed you away. They've pushed a lot of people away, I feel. And now they're starting to try to anchor themselves. There's abandonment issues here with this person. Five of Pentacles. Uh, just to let you know, I'm only reading the uprights in this deck. In this deck here, I'll read reversals and uprights also. Five of Pentacles indicates this person felt unloved. OK, and they've experienced some sort of uh, isolation or uh, difficulty in childhood. There's definitely childhood wounding here. This person, I mean, you and this person may have had similar journeys because twin flames tend to sort of have very similar journeys. Um, Five of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. This, pe this person will talk about their childhood. OK, I feel like. This person's feminine energy, or um, shall I say, not their feminine energy, but either a feminine figure, or a, either a mother, matriarchal type figure, or um, a feminine guardian, um, was their sanctuary. This person felt very responsible and very protective over their mother or their feminine guardian because of such a difficult, chaotic, and very strict masculine energy that was in the household and this person dreamt that they would never be like that person but what they have picked up from childhood is to be very closed off in their emotions they've learned i, I also i also feel like um eventually they had an absent father figure or they considered their father figure to be absent because there was no emotion and this person learned from a very young age that if you open yourself up to emotion you end up getting hurt or abandoned or left. So this person has been very closed off in relationships. The Ace of Swords indicates this person wants to tell you the truth of that. Now, I'm not here to give anyone an excuse. I'm here to try and understand so that I can see an outcome. So we'll go deeper and find out what else is going on there. They're coming to the end of that emotionally turbulent cycle. They've done a lot of processing. And this person may even, um, you may find out that this person even went through counseling or that they'll tell you that they've gone through counseling as well. Your energy, we've got the stork. Nothing's been happening for a long time. You felt stagnant, waiting, even in limbo, okay? Suddenly, there's movement. And we've got the hierophant. Now, of course, this is number 17, which is a star energy. So you've also been doing a lot of healing. I feel like suddenly you see that this person is like rushing forward towards you. And with the Hierophant there, I feel like you've learned this person's patterns. So I feel like you don't really trust this person. OK, I feel like what I'm getting here is that you've taught this person by taking a step back and enjoying your own independence and finding your true prosperity path. You've actually informed this person. They're giving me the word instructed. It's almost like you've instructed this person to look at themselves and close out some cycles that have not been healthy in their world. So they spiritually mature and they're going to come towards you. Now, let us just take a look with a Celtic cross and see if there's communication coming uh, this uh, next four to five weeks. See what's happening there for you. Herald of Cups, you're definitely going to get a message from this person. Uh, heralds, they announce news. So, uh, you know, you will get a message from this person. They love you. We've got the Judgment card. That is the card of second chances. So uh, it looks like deep down. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles again. This person wants to be in a high level commitment. 
the sun in the near future. This has the potential to be a very happy relationship. Six of Cups reunion. So if you have not received a message from this person already asking to reunite, you will very soon. Okay, we've got the lover's card. I mean, everything in this reading so far is pointing to you and this person being together. We've got the hermit there. That's the hope and a fear position. Being alone, spiritually evolving. We've got the devil. Now, either you're dealing with a Capricorn or there is still something bonded. Two of Wands waiting. Let's go one more. We won't go any more than that. Eight of Wands. You will move past this, but there is still an obstruction. So we will see what that is. Now, Eight of Swords indicates fear. Binding oneself in a situation that we feel we have no control over. We allow our fears to get in the way. If we get into a relationship, and I've been hurt before in the past, this person could potentially hurt me again. But the difference with this one is, my beautiful Aquarians, you are their twin flame. So sometimes when people feel they have the potential to be hurt or left, what they do is they retain the power. They try to retain the power and they push the other person away. So they remain in control of their feelings and they don't get hurt and they actually hurt the other person. It is not something that people do intentionally because there is love here. The, the Herald of Cups, this person has had an immature knee-jerk reaction to this deep connection. And I feel there's something here this person has not been seeing. But they're suddenly having an awakening, a realization. And the realization is that they love you. They want to send you a message. Now I'm going to pull a card separately on the Eight of Swords. I just want to see why is the Eight of Swords the starting point? Because right now it feels like nothing's happening. It's stagnant. That's what they're giving me. It's reached a limit. It's paralyzed. It's difficult to move past this. And the only way that that's going to happen is if this person messages you. And there it is. If they make the effort and message you. Page of Pentacles. Pages, Heralds, same thing. They bring news. Okay? So the only way that anything is going to get moving on this relationship is if your person makes the effort and reaches out with a, a message. Okay? Which I feel this person has been thinking about you quite a lot. And the Herald of Cups indicates that this person loves you. Uh, when you get the Herald of Cups, it does indicate that this person is learning to open up to love, is learning to love themselves first, but also they're a dreamer. So I would be mindful of that. Sometimes people, you know, they, they have the best intentions and they love and they really feel it in the moment. And they're like, you know what, this is going to be the best romantic relationship I've ever had. And then they make promises that perhaps they cannot keep and they make all these big like declarations of love and then life gets in the way now this person there's no excuse if you want to be with someone you be with someone but the twin flame connection sometimes our guides step in to part us for a reason so i just want to see what is going on there because this person is going to tell you how much they love you they're going to reach out and say i want a future with you i see my future with you can you please clarify six of cups they long to be with you they want to reunite there's even twins in this card. Six of Cups indicates that this person has a desire to be with you, a yearning to be back in your arms. They think about you all the time. But also this person, they tend to live in the past. And that's something that's not very productive when it comes to moving a relationship on. So this card is like... Um, a little reminder that your person should not live in the past and nor should you because it doesn't bring progress to the relationship. Learn from the past, but don't live there because if you live there, it becomes stagnant. So I feel this person, they're going to message you with a remember when we did this kind of message and how much they're missing you. But I would say, I mean, Six of Cups even means a message being offered. And I get from the Six of Cups, this person wants to reunite with you, but I also feel there's a lot of baggage from this person's past that they're still resolving. They're still closing something out. So they're not 100% ready, but they're pretty nearly there, okay? Now, what is below you? This is what you're manifesting at this time. The Judgment card. You're weighing up your options. The Judgment card indicates that you have met a fork in the road in this relationship. It's make or break. It's thrown you into a period of self-evaluation. Do I want this person? This person just brings me so much, you know, stagnant energy. It feels like it goes nowhere. It triggers me. 
all the things that are being triggered in you are for you to look at where there are areas that you have not resolved issues, okay? Um, the judgment card also is the card of second chances. Now, as I'm touching this card, I can smell warm, fresh bread. Something very homely smell. So either you are baking at this time, warm, fresh smell of bread. Uh, there's something in this message for you. I mean, it can mean this, this person, I mean, the judgment card is sudden realization, suddenly listening to your guides, suddenly, you know, leaving your old life behind and suddenly listening to the calling and saying, you know what, I'm going to take the leap of faith. I'm going to take my true path, which is to be with my twin. And I mean, the warm, fresh bread, if you're not baking, it can mean something very homely, something very loving, something very caring and trusting. So... I'm going to leave that there. I'm not really sure who that connects to, so I'll leave it there. I mean, it could literally mean that your person is a baker or a caterer or you are or, you know, I'm going to leave that there, though. What is in the past? The death card. Change. Transformation. When you get the death card, nothing ever truly just ends. It transitions. It evolves into another stage. And I feel you and this person are going to enter into a new cycle where you can make progress in this relationship. You can cleanse things. You can release the baggage from the past and make space for something new. Okay? I feel like there is a clearing for a new beginning here in this relationship. Cutting out negative patterns, toxic cycles, feelings of low self-worth, you know, unrealistic expectations, insecurities, addictions, anything toxic. The potential here is the Ten of Pentacles, to be all in, invested in a relationship that goes straight to a high level commitment, marriage if you're looking for it with that Ten of Pentacles. This is a card of faithfulness. It's a card of, you know, knowing what you want, investing in the future, um, having a person that walks, joins your family unit and, you know, walks into retirement age with you, for example. And the Sun card in the near future indicates that relationships between, well, the relationship between you and this person will blossom. This is a very powerful card of uh, positivity, happiness, celebration, but most importantly, it's an awakening. It's the light, it's clarity, it's truth. It's also the energy. You and this person have done a lot of growing up. You've become aware of your um, shortcomings. We all have them. We become aware of the things that we need processing, the things that have kept us in fear. You've started with the Eight of Swords, which is to be blinded by fear or to, you know, trust, try to trust your intuition, to sense whether this relationship is truly the real deal. The Sun card illuminates that and says, this is the light. This is the truth. This is a successful relationship that will only be rewarding once both parties have spiritually grown. But in the near future, there's a lot of happiness in this connection. We've got the Six of Cups again. It's shown up twice in your reading. So this indicates reunion. Advice to yourself in this moment. Don't get lost in the past. Don't get bogged down by that energy, but embrace an opportunity to reunite. So I feel this person is going to reach out to you. I feel like this person wants peace. Um, with the Herald of Cups, there tends to be an apology. So I do feel like there is an opportunity for you and this person to reconcile. The external circumstances, the lover's card, you both have a divine connection. You both know that you've met the twin flame. And with the lover's card, it indicates choice. So it indicates you know, there's a lot of traction here. Uh, there's a deep partnership. Uh, you're both sacred kindred spirits is what I'm getting. And I feel there is an opportunity for you and this person to have a lot of fun. Now, Aquarius, your 11th house is starred and influencing you at this time. And that's about hopes and wishes. But it's also evaluating um, what you truly desire and making it come to life. So this really connects with the Sun card to your 11th house of Everything that you're attracting in the law of attraction, it shall be so, okay? So I feel like you and this person will be reunited, but it is your choice, my beautiful Aquarius. Uh, we all have free will. Now we've got the Hermit in the Hopes and Fears uh, can, uh, section, which is basically in this time period of withdrawing. It feels very fearful. It feels very final. It feels a lot of, like solitude, like alienation, like being shut out. But the hermit is an opportunity to stop, take a step back, to regroup your energy, to renew your energy, and really resolve issues within yourself, become clearer, meet yourself on a philosophical plane of silence where the truth comes to you, where you can really 
seek answers, spiritually evolve and mature. And you and your person are in that plane right now in different areas, in different places in the world, but there is spiritual evolution and enlightenment. Okay. So right now you're in a stagnant period where nothing is happening. And the fear here is you don't want to repeat a pattern. You don't want to repeat a cycle. You don't want to get stuck in a rut where this person comes in, they tell you the world, and then they leave. You don't want to be in that pattern. So there's fear. Okay. Um, with the hermit, I feel like you will find the truth. You will find your way. Now the outcome energy, we do have the devil. We do have the two of wands and we have the eight of wands. So the devil card, I'm going to pull a quick card on it. The devil card is not an evil card. It is an opportunity to become aware of what is holding this connection back. Obsession over uh, insecurity, addiction, um, you know, a breakdown of communication, anxiety, doubt, materialism, the shadow self. The devil card is an indication we must look at the shadow so that we can see the light. Okay. And in the near future, you've got the light. So this is an indication that you and this person will see past all the difficult blocks or obstacles that have been in the way of this connection. Can you please clarify the devil card? The Queen of Cups. Love will save the day. There is a lot of love here, but it's also about boundaries. Now, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. Queen of Swords. Um, Queen of Swords is a, a Libra energy. Also, we've got the Queen of Cups, which is a uh, Cancerian energy. But this is about head over heart. I'm going to pull one more card just to see if it's two people. The full card, no. It's about the head over heart. Because you've got the full card with, uh, you know, making a new start, taking a leap of faith. You're going to have a bit of a head over heart battle. Trusting the universe is difficult. So it, it's important to try to find balance between the two. Your heart knows the direction you want to head in, but your head is telling you something else based on logic, based on what you've experienced before. With the full card, the full, the full card says, take a leap of faith, trust, know that the universe has got your back. There is a lot of potential in this connection, but you have to remove an obstacle. Uh, the two of wands indicates that there will be a little bit of time. Okay. This, the two of wands can connect to, uh, you know, observing, watching this person come in, message you. And then you saying, you know what, I'm going to watch this person's actions and see if they've got actions to back up what the words are saying so the two of wands is like observing yearning to be with that person but you're not going to jump in you expect this person to have overcome the obstacle but you're not sure you believe that they have so i feel like you're really taking a step back eight of wands indicates this person is going to message you this person um when you get the two of wands sometimes it's about mapping your progress you look at this stagnant energy and you're like you know what nothing's changing it's all the same Nobody's evolving here. It's just the same old, same old. But actually, the two wands says you are making progress. It doesn't feel like it sometimes, but soon you will become aware that the universe is orchestrating things behind the scenes to bring you what you desire. And the eight of wands is news coming your way. It is an opportunity to transform this relationship and move on from the stagnancy. This is a card also that indicates everything changes in this connection. I feel like it's an adventure of discovery, re-energizing of the relationship. So I'm, I do feel like you're going to hear from this person. I'm just going to take a quick peek to see uh, a little bit beyond that, because right now I get in November into December, you're going to get a message from this person. Can you show me a little bit beyond? Can you show me action? Two of Pentacles, finding balance. Six of Cups is showing up again. This person wants to reunite. It will be a message asking you to re reunite. The Death card is transformation. Change. Things are changing. This person, I feel like this person is actually going to bend over backwards to try and reunite with you. That's what I'm feeling at this time. The Death card indicates this person wants a new start. They've transformed. They're shunning their old life. They're shunning all the things that kept them stuck. Anything that was unhealthy, this person is releasing it. They're letting it go. But I also feel this person is taking ownership for how they changed the union or how they ended the union. And there's something from this person's childhood. 
that stunted their growth emotionally, okay? So there's definitely a message coming through. I'm just gonna go and get a final card before I close. We've got Labradorite Spirit. That connects to the Magician card. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Guard Angels. Divine Timing. Oh, they want one more, so I'll give it. Water. It's all about the emotions, letting them flow. So the first card we got there is Magic Labradorite Spirit, okay? So that's Intervention by Spirit, Magic, al uh, Alchemy, behind the scenes, stuff going on there. So I feel like there is going to be an intervention. Thoughts are becoming things, and I feel like your visions are becoming a reality now. We've also got Divine Timing. So this indicates it is your twin, but at the right time, you will be brought together in union. We've got 11-11 there. You'll start to see numerical synchronicity, okay? Meaningful coincidences, um, you know, like 14-14, 16-16, triple four, all of that. It says at the right time, order, synchronicity, accord. And also we've got number, so they just give me a song right now. Oh, wow. This song is so, I mean, so I'm hearing like, it's a very olden day song, very old fashioned. I don't know what decade it's from, but it's not modern. Is someone playing a clarinet. Oh my gosh, I'm lost in this. It's so beautiful. Um, at the moment, they're only playing clarinet. So either your person played clarinet or you can hear clarinet music or there's something about that. Okay, there's a, there, there, there's a, there's a, there's words now, one moment, please. Waking skies at sunrise, every sunset too, seems to be bringing me memories of you. Oh gosh, okay. Okay, yeah, so this person is thinking about you. I also, actually, I feel Aquarius, this song is actually connected to you and how you feel. Thinking about this person, because I get this energy from this song, it's like, you wish part of you could forget about meeting this person, even though you've learned a lot. So uh, if you hear that song, you know that's what that song is. Uh, please take it as it resonates. You may hear that song randomly. It's so old so, though. So it'll be a real chance opportunity to hear that song. So listen out for it if you know what it is. I don't know what it is. I'll look it up to see what it is, but it's very old fashioned, lots of clarinet. Final card there is water. This is all about the emotions. A sense of calm can be achieved even in the roughest of seas if you have compassion for the waves. Cleansing subconscious emotion. So a lot of cleansing going on in this relationship. A lot of releasing emotions and bringing them to the surface. So I do feel like this person is thinking about you and they want to reunite. That's going to be their message. We've got the butterfly. Interesting. This is the energy that both of you are in right now. Twin flames, when the chaser stops and decides to walk away from the union, the twin flame who's a runner suddenly transforms and starts seeking their twin. Okay, we've got the, uh, um, oh my gosh, I just suddenly had a, a, a mind blank. Mermaid, that's it. Uh, sorry, my guys just went mermaid. Um, yeah, mermaid. We've got a, my, a mermaid here turning her back. On both sides, she turns her back. So I feel, my beautiful Aquarians, you're turning your back on this person because you feel that's exactly what they did to you. And we got the butterfly there indicating transformation. It has been a very difficult process to transform, but it will be worth it. When you think about a butterfly, they don't just go into the chrysalis and then suddenly evolve into the butterfly. They don't go in as a caterpillar and suddenly come out the butterfly. They actually go through a very painful process of sort of, they break down everything that they are. They, they lose themselves. They become this jelly-like figure. They become a different form in order to be rebuilt as the butterfly. They, so they actually break everything down and lose themselves. And I feel like that's what the twin flame connection is. And this is what you've been going through. It's a very painful process, but it is rewarding on the other side if you decide to take the journey with this person. So watch out for a message for them. Um, also, they're showing me right now before I um, close the reading, they're showing me two matches together as one flame. You know matches when you light a candle, strike a match? There's two matches 
it's like the two heads of the matches are coming together to form one flame. So I actually feel that's a symbol that you will see over the next four to five weeks or um, something that your person will send you or maybe they've even got a tattoo of that. It's an image that's important. So look out for that. I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates in this reading for you, my beautiful Aquarians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press the little bell that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and light.